Right now, back to the Phil Cowan program on AM 1380, The Answer. Thanks, Dave. 734, and we have a guest joining us now. Our friend Greg Burt is here from the California Family Council. And, Greg, uh, you are actually calling in your capacity, I believe, as an Elk Grove parent, are you not? Well, I'm an Elk Grove parent, and I also work for the California Family Council. So kind of a dual role there. Yeah, but, uh, you you know, yesterday, well, I guess it was Wednesday, uh, you got in touch because uh, Katie and I were talking about something on the last hour of the show, and and the the matter of Harvey Milk came up. And I immediately That's heard from right. Greg going, Harvey Milk, let me tell you something. We need to talk about this. Last time we spoke, we were talking about this new proposed um, curriculum that's being considered in the Elk Grove Unified School District that would meet all of the new criteria that have been set by the state about um, teaching kids the wonderment of the contributions of gay Americans and transgender Americans. That's right. Um, but they're doing they're going far beyond that. They're actually trying to get people to look to these uh, individuals as moral uh, characters who you admire to put up on a pedestal. Yeah, they're, 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 you know, they're, yeah they're casting them as heroic. Exactly. And that's uh, pretty problematic when you look at who these people are and look into their lives. Well, um, and, and especially in the case of, of Harvey Milk, which, as we pointed out on, on many occasions on this program, was a at the time a known pederast. Um, Harvey Milk had a predilection for underage boys. That's right, and it wasn't like a hidden part of his life. If no, you, if you read his biography, it's called uh, "The Mayor of Castro: The Life and Times of Harvey Milk." It dedicates an entire chapter detailing his romantic relationship with a 16-year-old when he was 33. And, and now this, the, are, there are lessons in these uh, books that want to get kids to admire him for his honesty and his bravery. And, you know, there are some things that people can do in their lives that should eliminate you from, you know, the list of uh, – role models for children and i would think sexual relationships with a minor would would take you off the list of consideration and i i just cannot believe that the, the school district is considering making this guy a a hero that kids should admire and and especially elk grove because you know in the last two years there have been seven reported cases of sexual abuse against students by Elk Grove school district employees. And as, as a father, this actually happened in my daughter's high school class. Her uh, AP geography teacher, when she was a freshman, was arrested for having a sexual relationship with one of the students. <sighs> and let me just ask this, Greg. If somebody teaching at an Elk Grove high school has a sexual relationship with uh, somebody, a student who is under the age of 18, um, are they considered heroic or, or are they breaking the law? And they're immediately fired. <laughs> what? So, what? They're not yeah. held up as a shining example of courage and, and, and honesty? No, no, they would never even be considered. It doesn't matter what other wonderful things they have done in their lives or what a nice guy they are or how wonderful a teacher they are. When you do something like that, you can't stay a teacher. (laughs) Well, and and that is the point to be made here about the whole Harvey Milk thing. Why do we not hold, you know, the, the... case that has been made the argument by the 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 gay lobby if you will the 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 advocates for embracing homosexuals as our equals and listen certainly under the law they should be but the 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 argument has always been greg that they're just like you and me they just choose to love someone else well if they're just like you and me then why don't we hold them to the same legal standard exactly if we would never allow uh, a hero to be admired, in, especially in first, second, and third grade. We would not put a, a hero like that if they've had this kind of background. 
Um, I can think of no other person we would excuse that kind of behavior for. Well, and and that is the other issue here, as as you pointed out when when you uh, emailed the other day. This is the, the, this lionization of Harvey Milk is taking place in a lesson plan that is intended for third graders. That's right, and I think I don't know if I talked to you. It, it's not only it's Harvey Milk in second grade. They're introducing kids to uh, a drag queen named Jose Sierra. Um, yeah, yeah, we that, we yeah we talked about him last time. Did we? Okay. And so it's just the same thing. You know, he, this guy, Sierra was arrested, has a, a conviction for uh, sexual activity, you know, uh, with a stranger in a bathroom. And that eliminated his – he actually wanted to be a teacher, and he gave up that because, you know, you can't, you can't be a teacher if you have that kind of a criminal record. And yet we're going to make him a hero. It, it's like I don't understand uh, parents. I don't understand teachers. I don't understand administrators who think that we can overlook this. I don't either. What, what is the uh, the process going on right now? It, yeah, did you did I read that you said today is the last day people will have in the uh, Elk Grove uh, Unified School District to register uh, any opinions or complaints about this proposed curriculum? Well, yes. The school district is making the uh, curriculum. They have like several choices for uh, parents to review different types of curriculum, uh, different publishers. And so that you can go down to the district and today is the last viewing. Uh, the parents can come down from about two to eight to the district offices on Elk Grove floor and road uh, and look at the curriculum for themselves. And there's a feedback uh, sheet that people can fill out and uh, let the school district know what you think about the curriculum. So today is the last day to view the curriculum and fill out the form. And then there's a committee of teachers who are supposed to put together a report, including parental comments or in comments from the community, and they put that report together and then they make a recommendation next month to the school board. And the school board makes their own decision in February. And, you know, this really it points out a big problem we have in California right now, and it's something that maybe you and Jonathan Keller and I could discuss at a later date uh, on, on a future program. The degree to which, I am sorry to say, Greg, and, and this has nothing to do with their sexual orientation or, or, or any criticism of that, but it is the LGBT caucus that is driving policy in the California legislature right now. That's right. And it, whatever they propose is, is what they get. Um, and no one wants to oppose them for fear of being accused of being hateful or, mm -hmm. or bigoted or, or yeah, or in encouraging, you know, young people who are struggling with these things to commit suicide. So, um, which is a tragedy. I mean, no one who, uh, no one should feel hurt or, or mocked or, um, harassed. But on many, especially on many of these issues concerning sexual behavior, you know, people have different moral standards. And uh, another concern with this is many parents don't want these topics introduced to their uh, first and second graders. I, I do not know how you're going to introduce homosexuality to a third grader without talking about sexual activity sexual desire oh I mean, yeah it could be because when you when you say harvey milk is gay eight-year-olds are gonna a lot of them are gonna say what's that what is that what do you mean exactly and what are you gonna say well it's just two men who who like each other and then the eight-year-old goes well i like boys i don't like girls well so do, should they assume that they're gay because they don't like girls right i mean you're gonna com you yeah, i know gonna confuse kids they're not gonna understand unless you get into well it's a little bit more than that. You yeah, know? I, I think this is much too young to be introducing sexuality uh, to oh, the yeah. classroom. And again, just to be clear, Greg, we are talking about a school district where if you're a teacher there and you engage in sexual activity with an underage teen, you get fired and you're subject to criminal prosecution. But if you're a gay politician who did the same you're heralded as a courageous and honest hero. And that just makes no sense. 
at all. And, and people need to be honest and be courageous enough to stand up and say, you know, this, this is beyond the pale. And the, and the sad fact is we just got to get more parents to come out to pay attention to what their school districts are doing. Stop trusting. You're over, being overly trusting to uh, trust the school districts are simply going to do what's in your kid's best interest. You got to speak up. Um, and so I, I hope uh, folks are starting to hear about this and get down there and uh, explain to the school district that this is not acceptable. You know, keep all this stuff out of, out of uh, elementary school. The school district, even though there's this law, the school district has the right to decide exactly what the content is and at what grades it's introduced. There you so go. So th- local school districts exist to reflect local community values. So we don't have to take this from the state. Greg this Burt, law- that, that's crazy talk. Come on. The federal, on, the federal back. government should be dictating what happens in education in America. Uh, come on. Where is the courage? <laughs> I know. Where is the I know. courage? I'll tell you where the courage is. It was in Harvey Milk, and he was murdered for it. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Ray, can you believe how silly that sounds? I know. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping there's a tip, tipping point. And if this isn't the tipping point, then I... Yeah, then I don't know where it is. is Where is it? I'm with you, Greg. If we can't get Elk Grove parents worked up about this, then I, you know, you're going to get what you get out of your public schools in Elk Grove and don't complain about it. Exactly. And there's more. You think this is the worst of it. There's more to come. Sex ed is, is all being revamped. I'm looking at new standards that are being considered um, to be pushed down uh, into kindergarten. And they're going to tar- start teaching kindergartners about gender identity and that, you know, gender is not fixed. And every kid gets to decide for himself based on his feelings, whether yeah. he's, we, we, he's we're doing we're doing I mean, all we can to confuse kids. Oh, I, I can't I can't imagine a little kid uh, going to school today, um, you know, the things that w- you, you grow up, you, you think are fixed and, and you, you can be secure and knowing. And now they're all up in the air and parents can't even, they don't even have the confidence to tell you whether you're a boy or a girl. Now they, they let you decide for yourself. Oh, well, thanks parents. I mean, can you tell me anything that is true that, you know, well, but, you know, and man, we've talked about this before, Greg, that is the goal of the left, that there is no such thing as objective truth. It's your truth, his truth, her truth. There is no universal truth anymore. Well, that's going to come back to bite our society. Oh, you bet we? it will. It already is. It already uh, is. I mean, you talk about the suicide rate, the the crime rate, the CO, uh, this is a uh, consumer soap is having a huge problem with fights. Uh, did, you, did you know that the, the principal was trying to break up a fight between two girls? She actually, and she, and she was sent to the hospital with a concussion trying to break a fight up with the girls. Did that even make the news? No, I, I never heard anything about that. Yeah, I, I was, yes. Um, I've talked to principals and people behind the scenes, and they said she, she was sent to the hospital because she was trying to break up a fight. This is at CO. They and they had police cars show up, a helicopter show up. You know, it was a huge issue. Um, it was a, a melee, and she got pushed to the ground and kicked. And um, and you know, we we wonder. Uh, we we just wonder why our moral values are, are declining. Well, if if every kid gets to decide for themselves what's true and what's good behavior, what's bad behavior, you know, they're going to yeah. do. It's, you know, we, 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 we and, and without object behavior. without objective standards, this is the path we travel, and sadly, it's not a good one. It leads straight to he double hockey sticks, my friend. Hey, I got a break here, Greg. I appreciate your time. Thanks very much, uh, Elk Grove yeah, parents. You. Forewarned is forearmed. Let's talk again soon, Greg. Thanks. All right, take care. Take care. Twelve minutes now before eight o'clock a.m. Thirteen eighty. The answer.